In a previous video, I covered extensively on how to prepare a chicken skeleton. In this and subsequent videos, we're going to have a detailed walkthrough on how to articulate the bones obtained in the previous video using hot glue and some wires. My idea initially was to make one single video on articulation, but considering that would be insanely long, I shall be fragmenting this articulation process into a series of videos. This current video will be dedicated to articulating the skull bones. Please follow the links in the description below for the rest of the articulation videos. For this video series on articulation, you're going to need a hot glue gun with glue sticks, forceps, a sturdy metal rod, permanent marker pen, clamp and stand or any other support that's available at your disposal. So let's begin with the skull articulation. As you saw in an earlier video, cold water maceration results in a highly disarticulated skull. The parts that make up the skull of chicken are cranium, premaxilla, dentary, post-articular process, nasal, palatine, maxilla, jugal and quadratojugal, quadrate, lacrimal and pterygoid, and what I think is the sure angular bone which overlaps the dentary and the post-articular process. Unfortunately, four gigabytes of videos that I shot of the skull articulation process got corrupted and were damaged beyond repair, and I was left with only videos of the lower jaw articulation and the palatine bone articulation. I apologize for this upfront. I shall try my best though to help you understand the articulation process using close-up images of the finished skull along with what's left of the videos. Anyways, let's begin with the premaxilla. The premaxilla is the bony core of the beak or the rostrum. It is a V-shaped structure with two elongated processes originating from the middle and run side by side. This is called the nasal process of the premaxilla and is the point of attachment of the premaxilla with the skull. The images show how the premaxilla is attached onto the skull. Next we have the nasal bones. These are roughly triangular in shape with a deep crescent shaped groove on one side. The nasal sits on either side of the nasal process of the premaxilla as you can see in this image. The side with the pointed tip sits on the skull while the crescent groove lies close to the tip of the premaxilla. Next we have the lacrimal bones. These are shaped like Prince Rupert's drops and attach onto the sides of the skull right in front of the eye sockets as seen here. The tail-like tips of the lacrimal bones come at the front side and point downwards as you can see. Moving on we have the maxilla. It is a flattened irregularly shaped structure with a curved elongated tail-like structure called the maxillopalatine process. This process eventually joins with the jugal bone which will in turn join with the quadratojugal bone. Here's an image showing the underside or the palate region of the skull and these are the maxilla bones and as you can see the main body of the maxilla attaches right beneath the premaxillary bone. The tail end points backwards and protrudes out on both sides of the skull. Next up the palatine bones. These are elongated slender bones shaped much like the maxilla bones. The main body of the palatine is shaped like an ice cream cone that's been cut longitudinally in half. As you can see in this video, the side with the concavity faces downwards, and this is how one palatine bone attaches on the palate region of the skull. The long slender tip of the palatine rests on the main body of the maxilla like so. Glue both the palatine bones into place and you end up with something like this. We now move on to the side regions of the skull. This is the quadrate bone. It is a stout and triradiate structure having two so-called arms. One quadrate bone is located on each side of the skull adjacent to the tympanic cavity. The lower jaw articulates with the skull via the two quadrate bones. The shorter of the two arms attaches onto the skull at this point. The longer, more slender arm is free and points inwards as seen from below in this image. 
The quadrate bones play important roles in the skull of birds as they are the points of attachment for the pterygoids, quadratojugals, and the post-articular processes of the left and the right. We now move on to the quadratojugal and jugal bones. These are slender, elongated structures that join with each other and with the elongated tail-like structure of the maxilla. These are the quadratojugal and jugal bones of one side of the skull. The free end of the quadratojugal bone has a slightly curved region, as seen in the image. This clip shows how the jugal bone articulates with the quadratojugal. Once the two bones have been glued, proceed with articulating the quadratojugal portion of the two bone complex onto the quadrate bone. This video shows how it's done. Glue the quadratojugal onto the posterior end of the quadrate bone in such a way that the curved end of the quadratojugal points slightly downwards, as seen here. Once that's done, join the quadratojugal jugal complex with the tail end of the maxilla at the jugal region, like so. We are now left with the pterygoid bones. These are short stubby bones with articulation points on both ends. One end of a pterygoid bone is broader than the other end and has a flat slightly slanting surface as seen in this image. This end of the pterygoid attaches onto the parasphenoid rostrum and touches the tips of the palatine bones. The other end of the pterygoid joins with the quadrate bone at the base. Next we have the jaw bones. It consists of the dentary, the post-articular process, and what I believe to be the sure angular bone. This video shows how these three bones will join to form the jaw. The jawbone articulates the skull at the mandibular condyle region via the base of the quadrate bone.
And this is how the finished skull of chicken looks like. Let's keep this aside for now and proceed to articulating the vertebrae. Make sure to follow the link in the description below for the vertebral articulation video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.